Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. It's Saturday morning. This is going to be, I think, a, a what's all video for our whole weekend. So Saturday, Sunday, and Monday mornings sales. Just because I think we've only had six or seven sales this morning and we're probably going to go through them pretty quick because our post office closes very soon. So we're uh, going to go ahead and follow Kathy. You ready? Yeah. Follow Kathy around and see what's sold. Happy end. Some old navy hirachi sandals. Um, cool. Maybe eight <laughs> so, sales. <laughs> um, so this sold on kit is in just a few minutes ago for nineteen ninety five free shipping. I have three or four bucks into them um, from old navy clearance, and the shipping will cost three eighty five. So I'll probably net around ten dollars off those. And then the other kit is in sale. We had was CS. Fun on us, Reese. Morning, Reese. <laughs> So this is a Patagonia Cinchilla. I just listed it a couple days ago for $49.95 free ship, and that's what it sold for. So awesome sale. I expected it to sell more around $40, but I'm glad it sold at $50. And I paid $8.99 for that at Goodwill, and shipping is only $5. All right, and we had some eBay sales. So the top shelf here is the Goofy. This Goofy guy. Uh, sold on eBay for $17 plus shipping. I paid $2.99 for him at a local thrift store. Right, and then on the table. Oh, I finally got around to listing the bras that Chris drafted for me. <laughs> one of them already sold. Imagine that. These bras do seem to be a fairly quick seller for us, and we have a lot more that we need to work through. So. This was their love, perfect coverage, 40F. So, yep, this guy sold on eBay for $21.46 plus shipping. Uh, we do have a 14% off sale running right now. So, I listed for 25 plus ship, and that's what they paid with the sale. All right, and I have $0 into those at this point. So, CT. Getting down to the end of these. You guys have seen them so many times. The ultra crop top bra things. Uh, this one sold for 15 plus ship. I have like three dollars into it. Alright, boxy A from here. I love selling this brand, it's just Ola guy. Um, you can't see the tag, but these actually took a while to sell, I think just the style maybe it's more of like a moccasin but their flip-flops do really well and their sandals usually sell really fast um, but these I paid eight dollars for they sold on posh for an offer of 35 that I accepted right and then I sold another pair of shape ups <laughs> I'm just like amazed that they sold so fast still have one left right yeah but I just listed them. or one of the three that you just sourced yeah. So these ones sold on Mercari last night for $40, an offer um, that I accepted, plus buyer paid shipping. And we have $4 and some change into them. All right, and that was it other than whatever just came in. Yeah, let's see what sold, what just sold. Right, some towel shoes. Some towels. They're gonna be in box C. I paid $5.99 for them. Just making sure. Yeah. And they sold on eBay for a good amount. I'm just, I'm just like <laughs> talking to Phil Stalling. time. <laughs> uh, 2462 plus shipping on those. So okay. not too bad. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get these sales packed up real quick. We got a, a bunch of other stuff on the table right now, so yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> all right, guys, got that all packed up, ready to go. I think we're gonna work our way through this table and- It's all uh, photographed, it just needs put away. Yeah. You noticed we've got these Revere wear pans back mm -hmm. here that have been sitting on my kitchen counter for <laughs> weeks now, but. Got them all cleaned up and 
decently and gonna try to list them as a lot, I think, right? I'm gonna try. And if that doesn't sell in like, <laughs> what, 30 days? Yeah. Maybe split them up. And I think we're gonna do that because the shipping, shipping one pot would be 15, bucks, 15 20 bucks, but shipping them all together, you can get. One, yeah. These ones are heavy. Yeah, so. but we can fit them all nicely and then put them in a bigger box. So. It'll be a good experiment. We'll <laughs> see how it goes. All right, guys, we're back. It is actually Sunday night. Uh, we just laid the kids down uh, to bed, and we're going to go ahead and get a head start on what's going out tomorrow. So we're going to follow Kathy around now. And I think we have everything but our eBay sales right now, so we're going to do those first. All right, so let's just start with Mercari because it's one of them's over here. Actually, so this is kind of funny. So I listed this Stampin' Up! stamp on Posh, like, months ago and then it just got lost kind of like because it's small I didn't I don't know it got stuck under somewhere so I didn't know where it was found it while we cleaned this week so I got it cross posted finally and it sold on Mercari like within the first hour it was listed <laughs> just for eight dollars plus shipping but I just thought it was funny that it's been on that table on that bench over here <laughs> it has been everywhere. floating around <laughs> so it only took cross posting it to sell it for eight dollars I'm saying I have zero dollars into that because it came as part of like um, a set, but when I looked up the set, that particular stamp wasn't part of it, so it must have just got put in there. Mm. And I only paid two dollars for that whole set, so I'm just gonna keep that two dollars as that set and then call that free. So that'll all be profit after the Mercari fee. All right, AS sold some Toms. Right, so these came from the day that I got all those shape ups, and so I kind of just threw these and the course hat into make my total over 30 so I could use the discount coupon. So technically, I have four dollars and some change into them because of the way I did my cost of goods that day, and they sold for 14 plus ship. So I don't normally pick up baby toms much anymore because they don't sell for a ton, but made a little money and. I bought six items that day. Four of them I've already sold. One of them's not even listed because I just pulled it out of the laundry today. So it was a good little mini haul. Pretty good sell-through yeah. rate on that. All right, the Mux P. Reese's up here. That creek sound. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then this is a Patagonia baggies dress. So it's a dress with the bloomers. So I got this off thread up. I did pay $17.99 for it. Mostly because I knew I could get that money back by selling it and turning it back into my cash. So normally these sell for about 30 plus ship, but the bloomers were like stretched out and then also like a little dingy on the bum. So someone offered me 22 today. I just accepted because I knew that would at least get me back what I paid for it. Um, and then I sold some ortho feet. Right, these guys sold on Mercari for $50 plus shipping. I paid $12.99 for them at Goodwill, so a really good sale there. And yeah, I will continue to pick up Ortho Feet because both of maybe three pairs now. They've all sold really fast. Um, these ones took the longest, but still less than a month, so yeah. definitely worth it. Um, and then box BM, some crops. Down here. So these are just some basic black Crocs. They sold for $17 plus shipping. That's what an offer someone sent me and I accepted. Um, these are from the 65 pair days, so I only have about $4 and some change into them. And box AF. Yeah, Vans. Uh, so these I had bought off the, for my son. They've been stored for like a couple years till he could fit them. And now that he can fit them, he can't actually fit them. So <laughs> um, I paid $15.99 for them and they sold for $26 plus ship. So I got my money back plus a little extra. So they fit them, but they don't fit them. Like I bought them when he was like a baby. Yeah. And now he's in that size, but they just don't fit his he's feet. He's got the so. Marvin <laughs> fat feet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then box T, some Birkenstock. These are also from Thread Up. Um, I pretty much have my credit spent. I think I have like $14 of it left, but I had like free shipping forever, like for the longest time. And then recently, after I did 
all those returns. I don't know if they like took it away from me because of that, but <laughs> so now I have to like pay seventy nine dollars for an order or pay shipping, which I don't like paying shipping. So whenever I buy from them anymore, I usually, yay, um, I usually they have like a buy and bundle for a week. So if you can get your total to the seventy nine or whatever it is by the end of the week, you ship for free. So that's what I usually do. Anyway, so these I got from ThreadUp for $19.99, and they sold for $40 plus shipping on Mercari. All right, unpack CY. That might be another sale that I just <laughs> heard, because I sent out a bunch of offers on Mercari tonight. Sorry, we're, we're kind of in the middle of working on a bunch of JBF stuff. <laughs> yeah, we made a video of that today. So that should be coming out soon, probably in the next week or so. So this is just a Molokai Surfco, which I hadn't heard of. I only grabbed this because it was from the bins. The taco shirt. Yep, stimulus check challenge sale. So I only have about a buck into it. I sent um, an offer to Likers today of 11 plus ship and someone accepted. So that's what that is. While we're on Mercari, let me just see what that other sale was. Sorry, I need to hurry up and delete it because yeah. I just sent that item, um, that same item that just sold. Right before we started recording, I sent somebody an offer on eBay for that item. Don't want them to buy it, too. We do get the question a lot. Um, how do you keep from selling the item twice? This is this is how. As soon as it sells, we delist. Yeah, I mean, in the night, it's hard, but it yeah. almost never. I can't remember the last time it double sold. Taco. Right, so BX and it's some chocos. All right, so those sold for $28 plus ship. That wasn't even an offer I sent. Someone must have just bought them at my list price. Pretty sure those were from the 65 pair day. Yep. Yeah. So they have about $4 and some change into them. They sold for 28 plus ship. All right, so now Posh, C-E. Right, this is just that girl's Patagonia jacket. I grabbed it at Goodwill for $7, and it sold on Posh today for an offer of $60 um, that I accepted. I priced it at $100. These retail for $199, but it had some, like, water spot stains on it, and then, like, just, like, how jackets kind of get scratches on them. I, I don't know how, but... Every time I photograph a jacket, it has those scratches. So, yeah, I felt 60 was a fair price. I make 48, I paid seven. So, happy with that. Mm -hmm. so, I these on Posh, some just brown Crocs. Um, I had them listed, I think they were listed at 35, and I sent 20% off, so $28 with discount shipping, and someone accepted. Um, I got these retail arbitrage for $9. I have a few more pairs, and I made like $19.94 after the Poshmark fee. All right, so BG. What is this? Oh, this is an interesting sale. This I've had forever. Um, all the like man resellers love to sell gloves, <laughs> bats, golf clubs, things like that. So. I love softball, like I used to play it a lot as a kid, and so I was like, I'll take a chance on some gloves, I think I bought two or three, and this is the first one to sell, and I've had them for months, maybe a year. Um, I have $2.99 into it, it sold for an offer of $15 on Posh, so not the best, not the worst. And to be fair, it's been COVID for the past That's year, true. so <laughs> probably not a whole lot of sport play going on. Yeah. And last posh sale. I am so sad about this. <laughs> these were my favorite of my sons that are not gonna fit him. So um, I bought these on Mercari for 20, listed them on posh for 40, and someone offered me 30 and I accepted. So made my 20 back plus a few extra dollars. But yeah, he tried them on and they just he couldn't even get his foot in. <laughs> so those are my favorite ones. All right, and then on Kittizen, I just sold something I just listed yesterday. Should be in here. Somewhere, maybe. There it is. All right, 
these are some childhood shorts um, and they sold for $30 free shipping. I think that's what I bought them for a year or so ago for my son to wear, which he did. So yeah, we're gonna package these ones up real quick just to see if we're not too tired. We'll do the <laughs> eBay tonight. Otherwise we'll do those ones in the morning. All right guys, we got that stuff all packed, ready to go. And we're gonna work on some eBay sales. And I think we had another sale. Yeah, so we had a kid is in, one more kid is in sale. So let's do that. So box V, that was a two item bundle. I have 20% off two today. So I'm inspired about this cute little old navy shirt. This was, they're both my son's items. This one I loved because it has like Bigfoot. I love Bigfoot, I don't know why. <laughs> so that, I got that on old navy clearance. I think I paid like three bucks for it. And then CQ. Wait, I think there's something important I have to ask you. Uh -oh. Do you think Bigfoot exists? Um, yeah. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, no, obviously. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, you don't believe? <laughs> no. And then this is just a childhood shirt that I bought for my son, but then I decided it was too light for him to wear, and he would ruin it, so I sold it. This buyer paid $39.60 for the both. I think I paid $30 for that, so I'm probably losing a couple dollars after shipping, but... It is what it is, so I'm glad to see that go. That This hoodie sweatshirt, it's not a hoodie, has been listed for a very long time. I'm sure everybody else had the same thought as me that they don't want a toddler wearing <laughs> a white shirt. <laughs> All right, so that was it for Kittizen. And then, yeah, we had a number of eBay sales. None of them are super amazing, but a lot of <laughs> bins items that were just moving yeah. out. So Lots of bread and really butter stuff happy. today. Yeah. So, box CS are some Crocs. Alright, so these are from my 65 pair days, so about $4 and change into them. They sold for $21.46 free ship. They're under, uh, they're probably a little over 8 ounces actually, so it'll probably be about $4.50 to ship those out. Those are a use size. So, then box CQ again. These are some Old Navy slide sandals. This wasn't the best seal. I bought these at Plato's Closet like last summer for- Did you say Old Navy? New Balance, did I say I think Navy? you said Old Navy. Oh. They're new Balance. Navy. <laughs> they are New Balance slide sandals. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's like 10 o'clock <laughs> Sunday night. Yeah. We're yeah. running on fumes. <laughs> I got them at Plato's Closet like the end of last summer, I think. I paid $8 for them. I figured I could get about 20 plus shipping, which would have been an okay enough profit for me. But they sat for a while. Um, I sold another pair like right after I listed them, so I won't say that it's a bad thing to pick up. I'd probably pick them up again, but yeah, sat for a while. They only sold for seventeen ten plus shipping. I did see that they sold global shipping though, which means the buyer paid an additional shipping cost on their end to wherever it's headed. So mm -hmm. they actually paid a good amount probably for these sandals. I think they only retail for like 30, 35 bucks new. So maybe they cannot get them where they live. Sold another pair of vans. Oh, these are cute. All right, these are just little baby checkered vans. So I got these at Once Upon a Child just like last week. Um, these always sell in one to two days, like 100% of the time. So I always pick them up. They charge $3.50 for them at Once Upon a Child. I did not have a coupon this day, so I just paid the full price. And they sold for $17.15 free ship, which isn't a ton, but I did not say that they were coming in the box, so I'm only going to ship them out of the box, which they're like two ounces, so they'll cost only right around three dollars to ship out. I did save the box in case they sold on Posh or something that I would have shipped in the box because it wouldn't have cost any extra. But yeah, 17 15 free ship. I knew that they'd sell in a day or two, yeah, so I was happy easy to ten do bucks. That. All right, then CC. Another item I was so happy to move. Uh, these are just some little Nike foam posits, but I've had these for so long. When I bought them, I didn't notice there was slight separation like at the toes, so I think that just is what kept people from buying them. So I just significantly dropped the price this last week to maybe like $18 plus ship, and then we have a sale running. So this buyer paid $16.28 plus shipping. Um, I paid $8 for those at Once Upon a Child, so that wasn't the best sale, but they are on their way, and I am very happy. Alright, and then another thing. This is a day of things that I wish I never bought, but I'm very <laughs> glad to see them go. 
and not lose money. So these are Mark by Mark Jacobs. I only bought these because they were at Plato's Closet. Like, I don't know if it was the 90% off sale or what, but my average cost of goods that day came out to $222. So that's what I have into them. It took me forever to list them because I could not find like the exact size chart for these, and they're sized in euro, so like a 41. I tried them on, I'm like a 10 and they fit well, so I said that and I give measurements and everything. So hopefully no issues arise, but uh, they sold for 12 plus ship. That was an offer I sent to a watcher because I just wanted them to sell. Yeah, I don't, that's just a brand that I don't know enough about too. Like dance goes are in Euro sizing, yeah. but it's easy to find a size chart. Everybody knows their dance go size. I just don't know about enough about mark by mark jacobs so i probably would not pick those up again which kind of leads to another question we get a lot like how do you list shoes that doesn't have a size on it or you know again in this case the euro I size i mean if it's euro size i just grab the size chart right i couldn't find one for those for some reason so but with yeah, no size for, we try to avoid that kind of stuff yeah if i all just possible. mainly stick now to brands that yeah. i'm very comfortable with like dance goes are easy I don't know, like there are several that are in Euro sizing that I'm okay with, but not those. Are, <laughs> so, are Doc Martens? Um, sometimes Doc Martens are. The newer ones like the have ones the US maybe? sizing yeah. on them, but the vintage ones are in UK sizing, so yeah. you have to convert it. Like if it says made in England, those are UK sized. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So just being extra picky, and that took me yeah. a long time to learn because, yeah. And still, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes she can't help herself. That, yeah. I mean, two bucks for a pair yeah. of shoes. I couldn't help myself. All right, so those were those. AQs. Um, lucky brand Bermuda shorts. Keep going. I'm going to keep pointing at it, and I'm like, <laughs> what do we get? Yeah, so these were a retail arbitrage item that I paid $8 for. They're just some lucky brand Bermuda shorts. Um, I basically had them since the end of last summer, and I knew that they'd sit probably till spring came around, and once it did, they are selling, so only for $20.33 plus shift, but that's about what I expect from a retail arbitrage, just to, like, double my money. Yeah. All right, and then this just sold a few seconds ago, box X. I'm in your way. Right, this was a bins find. It's just a SeaWorld hoodie. Um, I knew that these cost a ton at the park, so I figured I'm only paying about a buck for it. I'm sure I could get 10, 15 bucks, and it's about what I got. Uh, 10, 28 plus shipping. All right, that was that. And then BF. These are just some little baby Nike Sunray sandals. I only have 99 cents into them. They sold for $14 plus shipping. It's an offer I sent out. Um, then AF, is that where I just was? No. You were in BF. It is Patagonia, what was this? Uh, this is just a Patagonia Cinchilla, just a purple fleece. It's not like a cool pattern or anything that would go for a ton. Um, I thought it would do well because it was like a vintage. It does say made in the USA on it. But it's been listed in probably six months at this point. Um, so somebody asked me today if I'd take 30 and I just accepted. I paid six for it. So six into 30 plus shipping. I was okay with that. And he was very nice. He said, thank you, Gingy, because my ebay closet name is gingy's <laughs> closet and then he said um something about living in colorado so he must have seen that's where it's shipping from mm. but yeah so hope he loves that um then cf right. this has been in my inventory for years <laughs> and it finally sold today for five dollars plus shipping <laughs> Um, I don't eat, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. It's spelled O-B-A-K-K-I. Um, I didn't know the brand. I got this at the bin, so the only reason I grabbed it was because it was 100% wool, but it's a skirt, which skirts never mm. do well. But I thought because yeah. it was 100% wool, it would. It was like in perfect condition. I looked it up. It retails for over $200, but it's just not something anyone's looking for. So if it retails for $200, <laughs> but nobody's ever heard of it, it's not going to sell, so... Today I had a watcher, I sent them $5, 
Um, I probably have a dollar into it, so I won't lose money. And I hope they love their 100% wool skirt for $5 <laughs> plus shipping. So, all right. And then AD. No. He's at the last summer at a garage sale. Um, only because they were 50 cents. The brand is Bullhead. I think that might be like PacSun or something. I don't even know. I only bought them because they were 50 cents. And they finally sold for $9.26 plus shipping. So, I mean, I know that's not a ton of money to some people, but I'll probably get, what, 7 bucks after fee. And, I mean, that's fine with me. <laughs> it didn't take that long to list those, so. We've got our systems down pretty much. Yeah. All right, box BA. This is just the brand Soul Angeles. This was a shirt I bought for my son off Kittizen. It's just like a little ski person and it says go for it. So he wore it a few times. I paid 15 and then I sold it on eBay for 17, 16 plus shit. So probably gonna break even on that. All right, then this person bought two items, but like in two different days. I don't even know if they knew that they bought them both from me cause they did not ask for a Shipping discount refund or anything, but I'm gonna give them one. So, uh, box AH. I don't think it's a viewer, but if you're a viewer, thank you. <laughs> um, I didn't write the name down or anything. Uh, they bought these Livy and Luca sandals for 20 plus ship. I bought these off Kitizen from a friend, I think for maybe like 20 or 22 bucks. So, just breaking close to even on those. And then box K. Some pins from my 65 pair day and these also she paid $20 plus ship so um yeah I don't think it was a viewer if the, if it was they did not leave a message but I feel like I their username looked familiar so they might have bought from me before so hmm. if you're a viewer thank you if you're not a viewer thank you <laughs> um but yeah I'll I know I charged a padded flat rate on these so if I can fit them both in the padded flat rate I'll just refund this whole thing otherwise I'll Put them in a box and she'll probably have a couple dollars coming back to her. All right, then I sold that Coors hat. All right, so that came, I do have $4 into it since I averaged out my cost of goods that day, but um, $4 and some change, it sold for $12. Where am I? <laughs> $12.86 plus shipping, so yeah. And then box AC. Right, so these are just some page denim shorts that I got from the bins from my stimulus check challenge. They sold for $21.46 plus shipping. I probably paid around a dollar for them. And last but not least, oh no, that was it, cause my, yeah, that was it. All right, we'll go ahead and Get this stuff shipped up, ready to go tonight. <laughs> all right, we got all that stuff packed up and ready to go. But it is quarter to 11, so we're gonna call it a night. We'll be back in the morning. All right, guys, we're back. It is Monday afternoon, size down for a nap. We're gonna finish up our sales for this weekend, so we're gonna follow Kathy around. In her magic post-it note. <laughs> <laughs> uh, BK. So with another pair of these skeins that I got from uh, Nordstrom Rag Retail Arbitrage. So Nine dollars and some change into them. They sold for twenty-five sixty plus shipping. Uh, then box C W. Everything's in the way. <laughs> These are just some boy Saucony shoes. Um, I've had these since September, so when I had a watcher, um, I sent them a fairly low offer, but I just wanted to move them at this point. So I paid $2.99 for them. I sold them for $12.86 plus shipping. And so far, these are all eBay sales. Uh, box B-O. So this is just the Ranty collection. Um, and it's just a flannel button-up shirt. That was my son's. 
I think I paid 15 for it and then I sold it for 10 plus ship. He wore it to school many times. All right, and then this is a bundle going to a viewer. So, box C. What do you see down there? Reese kind of has a little swollen snout. We think he might have got bit by a spider or something. Oh, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Hopefully, it doesn't get any worse. All right. So uh, these are going out to Amanda. Um, both whistle and flute. This one's a bat. This one is a s'more. This one's used. This one's new. Um, I did not write down what she paid for them. <laughs> Um, so the s'more went for $27.68 plus shipping, and then the bat was $21.46 plus shipping. And then she wrote me a nice message saying, where'd it go? Uh, thank you for the discount on the items. I recently started reselling and I've learned so much from you guys. Thank you for your, for all your videos. <laughs> Can't read. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Amanda, I hope you love these. Uh, this is one of my favorite brands for our kids to wear. It's just the cutest little picture. So thank you so much. We'll get those sent out today. Yes, thank you so much for the support. All right. And then we had one Poshmark sale. BG is down here. All yeah. These ones I was really <laughs> excited about. So these are those Everlane flats. Um, I listed them for 100 and I sent offers to Likers of 80 with discount shipping and someone accepted. So I only paid $6.99 for them, so it was over a $50 profit on those. Good job, mama. Thanks. <laughs> All right, and then BM. <laughs> so these are some Doc Martens. I got these at Once Upon a Child. They're actually a youth size. Well. I think they actually said like men's four, which is the same as youth four. So anyways, um, I averaged my cost of goods that day. So I only have 573 in them, into them. That's what I bought them for and sold them on Mercari for $30 plus shipping. And then last but not least is this dress. I'd already pulled it out to sell at JBF consignment and then it just sold. So I'm taking it off here. Um, so I bought this on ThreadUp, but then it ended up having a missing button at the top. So they mm. refunded me, but just said to keep it because it was only like a 4 or $5 item to begin with. So I listed it anyways with the flaw, and yeah, I sent an offer to a someone who put it in their cart for 15 free ship. I had it listed at 20 free ship. Um, but yeah, since it was going to go to consignment anyways, I was happy to send it out for 15 all right, we're gonna get that stuff packed up real quick and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we got that stuff packed up, ready to go. We're gonna work on this pile right here that we've had on this table for a few days. Have a quite a few pots and some shoes, some Revere Wear copper bottom. I think we've talked about those a couple times, but what's going on on the uh, momentum board? How did we do last week? You already, I don't even know. <laughs> I did add up the totals. <laughs> They're at the top, top. Top, top. Oh, right there. Yeah. So do we just change that every week? I, I don't know. I just wrote it there. Is the 110 including yours? Yeah. Uh, okay. That's the totals. Cool. So we passed our 100. <laughs> I was worried the last video, I think, that I wasn't going to do it. But I did 20 on Saturday. Chris listed one of my bins finds, uh, one of those huge hiking backpacks on Marketplace. That's his one, right? Yep. So if that doesn't so that sell is just in local. That's 30 not days online, or but... so, we'll probably list it online, but I'd rather not ship it. So anyways, yeah. So yeah, we listed, what, 110 listings last week and total. totaling $3,389, which so exceeds our goals. Yeah. Our minimum goals, at least. Um, and Sunday, I did not list anything. Today, I did not list anything yet. Yet. Um, I've been pretty much. I had a dentist appointment this morning. Then I went sourcing because whenever my mouth is numb, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I try to keep my mind off it. If I was working, I'd be thinking about it the whole time. So, 
I hope to get at least like five, ten listings up tonight. Probably those things that he just pointed out on the table. Yeah. Um, but the main thing this week that we have going on is the JBF drop off is on Thursday, which means I have to be completely prepared for it by yeah. like Wednesday because we're gonna have to drop off our kids early in that morning. Drive down. It's about an hour away. Um, so yeah. That's what all those bins are. Those are the, yep. so I'm already at 600 something listings for that sale. Um, if I go over 750, I'd have to work a shift, which I don't want to. So I'm gonna keep it under that 750 number, but yeah. So just what's there is gonna get tagged. Then I'll wait till I sell some off before I ta tag anymore because the next sale, I can only have 500 listings if I don't wanna work a shift, which right. I don't wanna work a shift. So yeah, um, and then after that, that one's in like two weeks, and then the Colorado Springs one is in April. That one I can bring a thousand, but I have to work. I'll work a shift. I don't mind working the shifts. It's just like the farther away ones. It's yeah. just hard to coordinate it all with school pickups and all those sorts of things. So, yeah, that's just what we're working on this week. Um, we're gonna have to pull everything out of our trailer for the sale that's yeah. already prepared because. I did not do a good job of keeping it organized, so I'm gonna have to pull it all out of the bins and then put it in by size order. Put it back in the bins, you know, a yeah. bin of boy shoes, girl shoes, sized clothing and things like that, <laughs> or I'll be dropping off for hours and I'm not gonna do that either. <laughs> yeah, and we did, uh, over the weekend, we recorded a video for like a crash course in JBF and that should be dropping sometime this week. I'm not quite sure on the day. It, today is Monday, so I don't know when this video is going to be coming either. But it might be right around the time this video drops. So if that's something you are interested in, keep your eyes open for that. Um, but yeah, I think that is going to do it for our weekend sales. So thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.